Hi kids! Today we will learn more about triangles. So let's start. Perimeter is the distance around the edges of a triangle. If we have to find the perimeter of a triangle, we just add up the lengths of all the edges of a triangle. Like here is a triangle with its sides A, B, and C. So the perimeter of this triangle will be A plus B plus C. That is, sum of all the sides of a triangle. So the formula for finding the perimeter of a triangle is A plus B plus C where A, B, C are lengths of sides of the triangle. Let's take an example. Here we have a triangle with the lengths of its sides mentioned. Now, let's calculate its perimeter. We know perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. Here, A, B, and C are lengths of sides of the triangle. Here, A, B, and C equals to 5. That is, all sides measure 5 centimeters. So, perimeter is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 15 centimeters. Now, Let's take another example. Here we have a scalene triangle with length of all sides mentioned. Now let's calculate its perimeter. We know perimeter equals A plus B plus C, where A, B, and C are lengths of sides of the triangle. And here, the lengths of sides of the triangle are 3, 4, and 5. So, perimeter equals 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 12. So, here, the perimeter equals to 12 centimeters. Now, let's take another example. Here is a triangle. Lengths of two sides of this triangle is mentioned. Perimeter of this triangle is also mentioned. Can you calculate the length of its third side? Let's find it out. Let the third side be x centimeter. We can write it in the form of a mathematical equation as 4 centimeters plus 5 centimeters plus x equals 14 centimeters. That is 14 centimeters. Now, let's solve this equation. 4 plus 5, we get 9. So, 9 centimeters plus x equals 14 centimeters. In solving the equation, we get to know x equals 14 centimeters minus 9 centimeters, and so we get x equals 5 centimeters. So, the third side of the triangle is 5 centimeters. So, we got to know that we need to subtract the sum of two sides from the perimeter of the triangle to get the length of third side of the triangle. Now, let's take another example. Here we have a triangle, and its perimeter is given. It is 22 centimeters, and length of two of its sides is given. It's 10 centimeters 
and 6 centimeters. And we have to find the length of the third side of this triangle. And we know length of the third side equals perimeter minus sum of the other two sides. Here, the sum of other two sides will be 10 centimeters plus 6 centimeters equals 16 centimeters. So, the length of the third side equals perimeter minus 16 centimeters. Where perimeter equals 22 centimeters. So the length of the third side is 6 centimeters. Kids, we need to know that in any triangle, the sum of the length of any two sides is always greater than the third side. Now we will be learning how to find the area of a triangle. Here we have a triangle. We have to find its area. For finding its area, we need two things. Base, height. Base of triangle can be any side of the triangle and height is measured at right angle to the base. That is, let any side of triangle be the base and draw a perpendicular to it to get the height of the triangle, like this. An area is equal to base multiplied by height divided by 2. Now let's take an example. Here we have a triangle. Let's find its area. We know area equals base multiplied by height divided by 2. And base can be any side of triangle on which we draw a perpendicular. And here it's a right triangle. So already there is a perpendicular AB to the base BC. So the area of triangle ABC equals base multiplied by height divided by 2. And here, length of the base is 3 centimeters and length of height is 4 centimeters. So 3 multiplied by 4 divided by 2, 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. 12 divided by 2 equals 6 centimeters. So the area is 6 centimeters square. Remember, the unit of area is always centimeter square or meter square. That is always in square units. And we write it like this. Area of this triangle is 6 centimeters square. We can also find the area of triangle the other way. You can also take the perpendicular BC to the base AB. Let's find this way also. So area of triangle ABC equals base multiplied by height divided by 2. And here the base is 4 centimeters and height is 3 centimeters. So 4 multiplied by 3 divided by 2. So the area of triangle will be again 12 divided by 2 equals 6 centimeters square. So kids, any side of the triangle can be a base on which the perpendicular is drawn. Now, let's find the area of another triangle. Here we have a triangle. We have to find its area. And we know area is base multiplied by height divided by 2. And here, height is given. It is 12 centimeters. And base is also given, which is 20 centimeters. 
So area equals 12 multiplied by 20 divided by 2. 12 multiplied by 20 equals 240. 240 divided by 2, we get 120. So the area is 120 centimeters square. Now let's take another example. Here we have a triangle. We have to find its area. We know we can take any side as base. So let BC be the base. Now, as it's not a right triangle, so we will have to draw a perpendicular to the base to find the area. So let's draw a perpendicular to the base, BC. You can use the protractor to draw a perpendicular. Now, here we have a perpendicular. Now let's measure the height of perpendicular using a scale. Measure the height of triangle. Measuring the height of perpendicular up to the vertex opposite to base, BC, that is vertex A. And height of the triangle is five centimeters. Now we can find the area. We know area is base multiplied by height divided by two. Height is five centimeters. And the base is 14 centimeters. 14 multiplied by five, we get 70. 70 divided by two, we get 35. So, Area of triangle is 35 centimeters square. So kids, today we learned about triangles, how to find their perimeter and area. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!